Hello Bridge players, welcome to the tips from Mark for the bidding contest in BBO. Let's hear from Mark. And yeah. well, last month we had uh, number three where we held a 6-5 partner show spades and you mentioned that uh, the theme of the month for the players from BBO was to underbid. Yeah. It's the lack of appreciation of when you have a fit, how good your hand is. Yeah. I think uh, it's very important to realize that when you have a fit, you can overbid. And when you have, don't have a fit, you should underbid. Okay. I mean, that's you know, a good generalization, a good sort of principle. Yeah. That when you have a fit, you should really evaluate your hand optimistically. Yeah. The thing is, what do you need to make a slam on this hand? Certainly a queen to four spades and a king of hearts, probably. The fact that 36% of readers bid four spades and a combined total of over 30% bid three spades or two spades or three diamonds. Wow, so little. Which is just... Which is why I gave four marks to four spades. Because four spades is nowhere near enough, but it's obviously so much better than three spades, two spades or three diamonds. It deserves to score better than those. There was a majority on the panel for five spades, yeah. which basically says bid slam if you have a heart control. Yeah. Those who started with three hearts were trying to cater for the fact that partner might have a heart control, but you might have a loser in spades or diamonds. Fair enough. And we even had, you know, a couple of psychs. There was yeah. a, a four heart, a psychic yeah. uh, splinter. There was a psychic exclusion Blackwood. Yeah. Brink said he was going to be he was going to be six spades anyway, so he'd start with exclusion <laughs> and try to get the opponents to need something other than a heart, even if the partner didn't have a heart control. And then we have the hand where uh, we had only six, seven high card points, but a seven clubs, seven card club suit, and four cards in partners opening spade uh, suit. And avoid yeah. in hearts. So the thing was to splinter here. And uh, apart from that, some uh, panelists even beat two clubs or two no trump to show yeah. a, a forcing game hand with spades yeah. later. Yeah. I think almost, almost everybody, again, the competition entered 30, over 30% with just four spades. Mm. And the overwhelming view of the panel was that that was not enough on this hand. Of course. Here we have a fit, and we have lots of playing potential. And, you know, if we spin through a partner with four spades, well, okay, we haven't lost anything. Yeah. Um, and it's true that, you know, your, your minor suits are very skewed. But... Uh, the danger of starting with two clubs is that if partner is two of a race suit, you're never going to convince them you've got four cards face support. Yeah. And it's also possible the opponents will get together in a, in a red suit if you give them room. Yeah. And then when you get to four space, they bid five of a red suit, which is not what you want to happen on this hand. Definitely not. I think bidding four hearts is clearly the right thing to do. Okay. You also mentioned that some people play three not Trump to show right. uh, yeah, either can, a singleton yeah. or a void instead of the of the split. Yeah, so right. Regular, regular thing... partnerships might regular partnerships might think about using three no trump to differentiate between a singleton splinter and a void splinter. So yeah. over well, a spade, right. you can bid four clubs, four diamonds, four hearts with a singleton, yeah. and with the void, you can start with three no trump partner bids four clubs to us, which suit. And you use four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades to show which suit. Yeah, and and if the opening bid is one heart, then uh, you have to use you three have spades. To, you, you have to, yeah, you have to use three spades as the splinter, so that there's enough room to find out yeah. the partner to find out which suit you are short in between the four hearts. So then I, I asked you, what did you think about choice of games? Yeah, well, I don't like choice of games because 
you've got at least a 5-3 space for it. Do you really want to mess around trying to play in 3 no trump? Which won't be right that often. And the problem is, the other problem is, how does partner know that his two smalls isn't opposite your jack to three? Yeah. So you can easily play in 3 no trump with five top losers. Yeah. And 11 top tricks in spades. Um, it just makes it too hard for partner. Partner, it's, it's, it's too... Ill defined. Okay, so you're four three three three. But he still has to guess what to do. Yeah. Because he's got five space, so he's going to have a shortage somewhere. If his weakness is opposite your weakness, three and Trump is going to be the wrong contract. But he has no way to tell. It's too blunt a weapon. It's useful to be able to differentiate between a singleton and a void splinter. I mean, let's take this hand. Let's say you splinter on this hand. It goes a spade and you bid four hearts, and that could be a single floor or a void. Partner bids Blackwood, do you now show your void? You jump to the six level and commit to slam. Now, partner, the, ace, the heart, heart void might not be a useful void because partner might have the ace. Yeah, definitely. Um, but if you don't show the void, you might miss a slam because partner thinks you're off two key cards. Yeah. So being able to differentiate between splinter is very important. Yeah. Uh, and so. I think three of Trump is a useful bid in that respect, but I think in terms of using it to show choice of games, you can bid that hand a hundred other ways. You just bid two clubs or two diamonds or whatever first and then show your space support on the next round. And partner probably be able to judge for the hand better, whereas if you over three of Trump, often partner isn't going to know what to do anyway. Yeah, definitely. So I don't think it's particularly useful. It's, it sounds great. You say, oh, 4 3 3 3, I'll give partner a choice of games, but how does he know which one to pick? Yeah. And then we also had another hand where people didn't uh, evaluate right. It's uh, it's the hand uh, number seven, if I'm not mistaken, where yeah. partner uh, overcalled two clubs, which we couldn't because we only had a five card set. And. Uh, they they supported uh, they showed uh, a fit in spades and yeah the the thing is to show a strong hand by beating three spades for example yeah three sp the choices really are three spades or four spades yeah those were the primary choices on the panel okay you either show up three spades like a bit raise of clubs or you splinter yeah okay that 30% of the people, of the competition entrance just been three clubs, which is way not enough. Yeah. You know, you've got panelists looking for a slam and you're, you're prepared to play in three clubs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Which suggests you, you, that you've just undervalued the hand enormously. Definitely. Um, two, with four space splinter, you'd rather have a single small spade than the ace of diamonds. But the problem with getting any less than that is that if you don't fit four space now, North is likely to. I mean, some panelists did try cubing with three diamonds rather than three spades or doubling to try and get hearts in. Well, one of the things to remember is that the opponents are bidding spades. So, our suits, well, even though hearts is a major and clubs is a minor, it doesn't really matter. The opponents are bidding spades. We want to play in our best fit if we have to go to the five level over four spades. Yeah. We want to play in our best fit. Definitely. So, We've got a 6-5 club fit. Even if we've got a 4-4 four, four heart fit, do we really want to play in it? Yeah. Um, and partner might have King King Doubleton Spade or King to Three Spades, for example, and we can pitch one of our heart losers. There's no great benefit in finding a heart fit. We have three choices in hand number one. Yeah. They are uh, passing, 3 no trump or four hearts. All of them are a little flawed, you said passing would get us only 300 at most, generally. Well, no, I don't say it, but I mean, it might get us 500, but it's, I think 300 is probably the likely result. Yeah. And um, 3 no Trump might be lacking um, enough for uh, controlling the, the diamond the, suit. Well, the, the danger in diamonds is that they can knock out our star. Let's say. Lefty has King X and righty has Queen Jack 10 to 6 in the base. 
Well, maybe I had a knockout, I'd die on the spot. And it's, but it's better likely to have capitalized drugs. Yeah. So you might go down on three, though, Trump. The danger with four hearts, of course, is the partner might only have three hearts. And you know, after a preempt, they could easily break 5 1. So you might go down on a bad break in, in trunks. Yeah. So they each have their own sort of. And then for hand number two, we we have quite a good hand with the minors, partner open one heart where we have a void. And uh, um, the choices are between two spades, which is the impossible spade, which shows a good fit for clubs, or a number of clubs, could be four, could be five, or I don't know. And yeah. he said that one, uh, one of the concerns would be partner holding four cards in spades. Yeah, well, the opponents haven't bid uh, spades, so nobody's bid spades. When you have short spades and buttons bidding other suits, nobody's bid spades. You say, well, where are the spades? Yeah. I mean, partners could have two. Maybe Oakland has five and, left, and uh, South has four. But the South hasn't ever called a spade, so he probably doesn't have five. Okay. And North doesn't have six because he probably would have opened a week two, probably. So. And likely Parkland's got at least three spades, so we know he's got five hearts and four clubs. So he has short diamonds, we know that. Yeah. So it's not clear how good our diamonds, how useful our diamonds are. Yeah. All right. And that's the, that's the, the main reason why you might undervalue the hands. All right. Then we have hand number three, where we open one diamond with a beautiful 6-5, but they made a weak jump. Five car suit partner passed, yeah. mm. and we still have uh, lots of points. But what shall we do here? We can pass. We can beat three diamonds, three no trump, I guess. Yeah. Any other well, option? Well, you should. Could be two no trump, I suppose, or you could be four diamonds, I suppose. Um, what is your expectation for each with each of these bits? If you pass, what do you expect to get? Oh uh, well, two hundred. I'm not so sure, but yeah, I guess a couple of downs, yes. Well, you should probably it'll probably go three or four down. Yeah, I think you get two hundred from defending. All right. But of course, you could get 600 by bidding three no drum. Of course. The question is, what are you going to get from three diamonds? Where's three diamonds going to... What's going to happen over three diamonds? Well, partner, either it's going to pass or maybe show long hearts, which maybe he couldn't bid because he was too, too weak to even double. But I don't see much more. Yeah, well, he might, but I don't see it. The most likely result of bidding three diamonds, I think, is you're going to play in three diamonds. Yeah. And the most you can, you're not going to get 200 from playing in three diamonds. Yeah, okay. So I don't see, I think the chances of partner bidding on over three diamonds are pretty small. So I don't see how three diamonds can ever be better than pass. It's pass or three no trumpet? I think pass or three no trumpet are the, are the, are the realistic options. Yeah. You could bid three diamonds, you could bid two no trumpet, you could bid four diamonds. But I think they're all third class options. I think it's parcel or three I think it's parcel three day trump. Okay. Then we get to hand number four where they open two spades. We doubled three spades, partner doubled, which usually denies four hearts, right? Yeah. I mean he might have four bad hearts. But um Yeah, he's right, he could be one three five four or one three four five something like that. And now, well, we we held this uh, twenty high card points hand with uh, five hearts and king queen third in uh, spades. Uh, we're vulnerable, they're not. So I don't think we're getting rich by passing three spades. Though I suppose that's an option. 
Three no Trump yeah. is obviously an option. Uh, but I guess we might be looking at Slam 2, right? Right, so the options on this hand are to bid what we would bid on a 12 count and bid three no Trump or four hearts. <laughs> okay. Or to do something more like bid four spades or five hearts. Or... I think that's pretty difficult. I mean, they had, the opponents have bid two spades, three spades. Doesn't mean much, I suppose. But, you know. How about uh, four no Trump? What would that be? Well, that's that's probably pick a minor, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, well. I mean, if partners one, three, four, five, you're going to end up in a, in a minor and a seven card fit with an eight card half fit. Right. Um, uh... I, don't think, I, don't think, I don't think there's a good answer to this problem. I think it was the question of picking the least worst option. And you have to decide whether you think, I mean, clearly you're going to make, if you've been three no Trump, it will make, probably four halves will make. You have to decide whether you want to settle for your forbidding game, which will make, or looking for a slam. And if you're looking for a slam, how do you go about it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I guess four spades sounds the, like the best one, but I don't know. All right, let's move on to hand number five. Here we we passed their two heart opening bid. We had a six five in the minors, and now partner bid three no trump in the reopening position. Yeah, I think this is the this is the gimme of the month. Okay. I mean, this, is, this is the easy one of the month. Assumption is you're sitting down with a, an unknown expert with no particular agreements. I think probably we haven't got to the problem point on this hand. I mean, it seems obvious to bid four diamonds. I mean, if part of them bids four no trump, we have to decide what to do. Yeah, whether to be the clubs or not. But it's uh, four no trump here would be some kind of uh, quantitative well, bid, I guess. Would, well, four no trump with four diamonds is, I have some sign interest with diamonds, and four no trump is I'm not particularly interested. Okay. You have to decide now whether to six diamonds or to bid five clubs or to pass or to if you bid four diamonds and partner bid four no trump that's probably a bet, would have been a better problem than the one that's set I think the minor suit disparity is so huge that you don't really want to part, part and pick a minor yeah. great let's see number six we we have a six four in uh, the ambit suits and partner double their opening bid so we also have nine high card points, which is pretty good. So I guess we have to decide between... Uh... I've got 10 bids in from the panel so far, and I've got six different answers. Wow. So this is going to be one of those where <laughs> all, all the sensible bids score something, but it's very difficult to pick which one's going to be... what is going to score 10. Um... Okay. I'm guessing well, I mean, can... three three clubs, two hearts, three hearts. Mm, I see those as options, but uh, well, more... you could start with two clubs. Okay. You could be two clubs. No, knowing knowing they're that they're... the bidding is not going to end, right? Yeah, the opponents will bid again, and then I can bid hearts. Okay. If you know the, if if you know there's going to be another round of bidding, that's that's perhaps your best option. Because you don't really want to bid three hearts to jack to four. Yeah. Although partners likely to have four in this in this situation. Yeah. Where he's doubled yeah. where they bid two suits and he's doubled. The other options are two diamonds. All right. And double if you think that's takeout. We had this discussion last month and the panel yeah. the view of the panel was that it didn't show four space. You told me it was not in fashion to to psych one spade in this situation because uh, well, you it can't be done so I'm, much. I'm, I'm told that you can't these days because effectively you can you can do it once but you can't ever do it a second time with the same partner. So yeah. So basically nobody strikes here anymore. I don't know. I mean I still play double shows four spades and two spades shows five spades or six spades. Yeah. 
All right, hand number seven. We we have a partner who doubled three clubs, and now they beat four clubs. Yeah. And we have eleven high card points with a void in clubs, and uh, it's a six four. I guess we can uh, be the five uh, five clubs, five diamonds. Five not Trump, four hearts. Mm. Yeah, those are those are probably the four options. This is ahead of my Gold Cup final. So the Gold Cup finals: one player bid four hearts, and one bid five no Trump. Okay. And the five no Trump bidder duly got to six diamonds. Okay. Which was the winning contract. Right. I think we need a lot of, a lot from partner to to make the slam anyway. He, he might just have it because he doubled the three clubs. Yeah, and he's and to have four it. hearts. Four hearts seem to be very little anyway. Yeah, four hearts doesn't seem like enough to me. Yeah. All right, and the eighth and final hand. It's uh, an opening bead hand. We have twenty high card points. All the aces. A six three yeah, no, two yeah. two. Nobody, nobody has preempted us. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we have to. Yeah, we, we get to open the bidding. We can open the bidding. I'm guessing uh, you either open a club to not trump or two clubs here. Yeah, but, yeah. But I think those are the only options. I can't, I can't imagine opening anything else with that. Hand. Yeah, definitely. So the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure that the readers will come up with more than three options. <laughs> I can't imagine what else you could possibly open other than one of those three bids. Somebody will open three clubs. I mean, wow. I sort of, who knows? I mean, I, I don't. I'll, well, I'll be interested to see what other options they do come up with. But I can't imagine anybody opening other than, anything other than one club, two no Trump or two clubs. Being more serious about it, um, I think the hand is very strong. Uh, but you also would like to have uh, more space. The two no Trump opening bid is so preemptive to ourselves. So. Yeah, but the, yes, it's true. But if we open a club, whatever part of the bids, what you're going to bid next, you're going to end up bidding three no Trump, probably. Yeah, definitely. So and, and the clubs are not so good for that, I guess. No, it's it's a false saving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you save space on the first round of the auction, but you're going to have to use it up on the second round. Yeah. And I had the hand I did open the club, and it didn't work. What did partner have? My well, partner had queen to four, two small, king to six, stiff king. So you wanted to get the six diamonds, yeah, which was incredibly, I think it was incredibly difficult to get to whatever you did. Yeah. The best chance you have of getting the six diamonds is you open two clubs and rebid two no trump. Yeah. He might, he might make a slam try in diamonds then. Well, Mark, thank you so yeah. much as usual. Great uh, insights on the hands and uh, the, the three. And every, 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 everybody's top. Everybody's top of the annual competition leaderboard right now. Pleasure as always. That's right. And I will see you here. next month. And I would like to say Happy Christmas and Merry New Year, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, both to yourself and to everybody who watches <sighs> and everybody who enters the competition. Your regular partner or your bridge playing friends. Make sure that they enter next year. And that was it for this month. Remember, you have to vote in BBO. As Mark says, let's get to 5,000 votes. And uh, I hope you get nice pointers. Remember to leave a like on the video, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and see you again next video. Bye.